Welcome back and happy Father's Day to those of you that have managed to earn and retain that title. Today I wanted to take a look at the uh, 44-06 case itself and how I intend to, uh, to size that. Let's check it out. Okay, so you remember our um, 44 out 6 brass had a uh, 30 out 6 parent ca case, and I intend to use a, uh, for sizing, I intend to use a 30 out 6 die. You could probably get away with uh, any, uh, any die that, of a case that uses a, uh, 30 out 6 is a parent case so anyway um, I had um, when I made this reamer and then made this based on the Sammy specs up at the mouth up at the mouth I was shooting for about a 461 461 thou at the mouth and down at the uh, the case head at a 471. So I should have a um, the reamer is going to ream that is going to uh, probably ream a little bit larger than that 461. Um, they don't ream smaller. If I run them faster with less lube, they'll ream even uh, even larger. But um, my theory here on sizing is I'm probably going to shoot for, to begin with, I'm going to shoot for a case mouth diameter that is about, say, four... 458 I'll go with 458 and then um, adjust from there so the first the first step in this process is going to be sizing this um, this case and I'm going to start with the die set out quite a bit there's a decapping uh, pin in this die, but um, it's uh, in an expander ball, but uh, I don't suspect that's going to come into play. But I ran that in there a little bit. Let's see what I got here. Yep, right away, right away, it um, didn't take a whole lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw this out. Let's see. Run this case, run this die down onto the case. And uh, check to see what I got here. I'm having a Having a hard time seeing uh, with the lighting I have, but it's better for the video. Um, four, five, four, five, seven, four, four, five, eight, somewhere in there. So that's my starting point after I uh, ream the chamber. I'm going to run the case in there, make sure that it fits. 
and then uh, if I find out it's uh, it's tight, I'll um, I'm gonna reduce the size by running this die down little by little. Once I have that, my inside diameter should be about two to three two to three thou less than bullet diameter so right here i'm at uh looks like four four twenty three four twenty yeah roughly uh four twenty three to four twenty five so i would um i would ream that to uh in that case, I would bring that to 427. So if I find out that um, this this outside diameter loads uh, feeds loads into the um, chambers into the into the chamber well, and then uh, then I come inside here. And I only want this to grow by uh, about two thou. Might have to go a little bit, little bit less than that because um, once I ream under uh, two thou under four twenty nine, so point four two seven. I push a bullet in. I should expect uh, the mouth diameter to increase by the corresponding amount. And so that's going to put this right at 460. So I'm going to just reduce this a little bit further. And get a size to where after the bullet's seated, a bit more. So what should it be? It should be about four. 456 mouth diameter should be about 456 to start with so right about there right about right about there I don't know if we can So that's that'll be my outside diameter. I have my inside diameter. I'll have to uh, ream that a, a few thou looks like to 427, and then once I push a 429 bullet in, I should have about 458 uh, up here in the mouth diameter, and uh, that's my starting point. And I fi find out that that. Uh, that uh, doesn't chamber well, doesn't chamber easy enough, then I'll, uh, I'll reduce this diameter a little bit more and then uh, no matter what I'm going to have about a four, 427, uh, 427 thousandths ream and only deep enough to seat the bullet without causing a bulge down, down here at the bottom of the bullet. So, uh, that's it. Hope it made sense. Um, it's kind of hard to make this video today. The sun's trying to overheat my, my camera, my phone. And, uh, anyway, I'm going to have to have some uh, Father's Day dinner and gifts and all that stuff soon. But I uh, figured I'd make a quick video show what the thought process is here and to go over again I use my uh, my full length sizing die for a uh, 30 out six for a 30 out six parent case um, and then run I'll run this brass up in there I won't I won't set that I'm not gonna set this to start I'm not gonna set it all the way down I'm just gonna set it to size this mouth probably um, let's say uh, four thou under the um, 
the mouth diameter of the chamber itself based on this. So um, once I have that set and I'm, I know this fits, I come back in here and I, I only want about a two thou, two thou press, so um, somewhere in the neighborhood of 427, maybe 426, depending on how well that holds the bullet. Uh, I'll run a reamer in there. I might make a little um, a hand jig to do that with. And then uh, load them up. I'm still trying to figure out uh, what my starting load should be. Whether it should be loaded uh, something along the lines of the 444 or maybe uh, more along the lines of the uh, 445 Super Mag with a uh, pistol powder, but uh, we'll figure that out when I get there. Um, I'm still waiting for, I ordered a, uh, ordered a lower and I ordered a parts kit. The prototype's going to use a uh, AR lower. The upper I'll have to make, the barrel I'll have to um, chamber and contour. I have a, um, I have a pretty good good idea of the uh, breech mechanism. It's going to be a, uh, a unique mechanism, and uh, I think I mentioned before it's going to be uh, intellectual property probably. So, um, I, from what I can tell, from what I you know, the, my calculations, it'll be plenty strong, uh, and I should be able to. I should be able to uh, produce more uh, primary extraction um, power with a uh, with even with the slide mechanism than you um, you get from a turn bolt rifle. So uh, we'll see. Anyway, thanks for stopping by and happy Father's Day.